feisting. Do you guys like the lighting? Do you want me to change colors? Or should we stay with this color for today's video? Anyway, anyway, you guys have no choice because by the time you're watching this, it's already up. You crazy ass. Anyway, I'll be trying to... Hello, am I centered? I'll be trying to film this whole ass video for today's video <laughs> purely... Charit. Purely in English because I have discovered that I have foreigner viewers. So welcome, mabuhay! Welcome to the Philippines! Ano <laughs> daw? Hindi, joke lang guys. Okay na ba yan? Do we look good? Maganda po ba yung nakikita nyo sa... Ay. You know, Tagalog jokes hit different in Tagalog, you know? We cannot translate it into English. <laughs> so don't mind this. It's, um, I'm very clumsy when I drink. This video, we're gonna talk about how to ascend your frequency and how to heal or how to actually do shadow work all right a lot of people have been asking me how to actually heal or how do we actually do shadow work and why is it so fucking important shadow work and healing you guys you know people overlook the basics so much so that they want to go to the cutting edge stuff i can't stress that enough the most beneficial for you in your spiritual journey is in the simple things okay and doing that consistently is how you will ascend okay i want to make a separate video how um church teachings like catholic church teachings dogmatic teachings are actually i believe are metaphorical all right it's not literal in the next videos that i'm gonna do explaining um the differences on how church teaches and what they actually say in the Bible and then what it actually means. Because the reason why people don't understand it because it's in metaphors. When you do bad things, you actually go to hell where you rot and burn to death, to the crisp. There's no such thing as that. When we die, we just transition back to our original souls. And then from there, we decide whether if we, we need to reincarnate again as humans because maybe we're like, hard-headed to not actually heal in this lifetime so we're gonna go back to correct the mistakes okay or to pay the karmic debt that we need or whatever it's actually peaceful when you die and i could explain that in another video okay, what do i mean when i say ascend like how do you fucking ascend you ascend to heaven ganon no so what you're seeing right now is the map of consciousness by dr david hawkins if i'm not mistaken i'm so sorry you guys i gotta save this for part two i literally went off on a tangent here and i just wanted to focus this video purely on healing rather than the esoteric teachings and whatever i'm just gonna save this for the next video instead discussing about this map of consciousness of dr hawkins and the esoteric teaching so if you want to see that maybe drop down a rainbow emoji in the comments so i would know that's something that would interest you guys so yeah going back to the video so um yeah uh, so before we start this video i want to say that i might use christian or catholic language not because i'm teaching catholic or dogmatic things like i'm not i'm not a church i'm not a priest i'm not a you know i'm not a nun so what i'm about to explain in this video i'm just using christian language but this things that i'm going to talk about in this video is a metaphysical text using christian language like christ god so we use these christian terms to actually point out the eternal truth okay going back to how to heal and going back to how to shadow work okay number one no one is actually fully healed okay what i actually do when i do shadow work is i assess myself whenever i get triggered okay so take down notes you guys when you are triggered even in the slightest inconvenience that's where you need to check yourselves okay so for example spirit give me an example a perfect example okay so they gave me the example to talk about jealousy although jealousy is not in this um it's not in the map in the map in uh, excuse me Paul. it's definitely a low vibrational frequency you can search it up what's the exact frequency of jealousy but 
I said, nagpa-purge ako, you guys. Just an example, you have like a best friend and then you haven't done your shadow work yet. You're a little bit insecure. You have a little bit uh, low self-confidence or self-esteem. And then you have like a very gorgeous, pretty best friend or like your best friend is very, um, not necessarily conventionally or physically attractive, although beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. But more so, your best friend has a lot of confidence. And that triggers in you. You get jealous when you like see her in action, you know? You feel jealous and like envy and a little bit of like, yeah, you feel envy, envious towards this like friend. That's when you need to shadow work. On the spot, you're not going to let it pass and oh maybe i'm gonna think about it when i go home before i sleep you know think about it on the spot okay so what i like to do is always trace it back way back in your childhood okay because childhood in your formative years it's in childhood right like um everything that you see in your environment from your um your playmates from your parents from your siblings from your classmates in kindergarten or whatever and however they treated you your teacher in kindergarten and however they treated you that's a big factor on how you are how you are in your adult life whether you know it or not so in this example maybe she had a sister who's like more prettier than her or at least the society deems the sister more prettier than this person or even worse um the parents actually favors the other sibling than this person then what does that do to a child right so you when you actually pinpoint where that frequency or that um type of emotion is coming from when you've traced it back to your childhood days and or everything or an encounter or whatever it, you, it, it's not even just in childhood you guys it's even in your adult life but it's easier when your first option is to go back to childhood okay if you really didn't see anything from your childhood with that certain um emotion then assess your late adult life what happened that you felt this certain like envy or jealousy where did that came from right now heal that how do you actually heal jealousy or envy you acknowledge that you have great traits as well you have beautiful traits as well what the fuck are you talking about you being jealous of other girls you being jealous of other men you have your own strengths okay maybe in your childhood you weren't appreciated so much you didn't actually felt appreciated by people you expect or you wanted to get the appreciation from okay so that's actually sad yeah boohoo but it's actually sad if you're not gonna heal that in your adult life because that will carry on in all of your relationship may it be romantic may it be friendship may it be work life may it be your your personality in general that's actually sad that's actually more sad than you not being given the appreciation that your inner child just wants so how do you actually do that when you pinpoint up to this point okay there's like this technique wherein you meditate or if you don't want to meditate you get a mirror and then you talk to yourself look at yourself with no judgment okay you look at yourself as if you are your seven year old self okay and then you like affirm maybe you could go something like i know we weren't appreciated so much when we were <clears throat> when we were young but i appreciate you you're so amazing when you put your mind and your heart on something and actually bringing that into fruition what you put your mind and your heart into i really admire that about you and i really love our brows i really love our lips and I really love how beautiful we are. We are beautiful. Although that might be harder depending on how low the self-confidence of each and every one of you has. So your starting point will be different for other people. So, um, but that's the pattern or that's the uh, like formula, so to say, on how to like heal. So just to recap, when you get triggered on the spot, do not let it pass. Okay, on the spot, you think about it. Go about your day, go about your errand, thinking about it, not letting it pass for another day. 
where did this certain emotion came from in my childhood and then you you think about it and then when you uh found the like main reason why you had this wounding where did it came from that certain emotion you affirm yourself sometimes it's different for different people depending on what trigger they're trying to heal sometimes you have to forgive yourself forgive yourself for not being able to do anything forgive yourself for not speaking up for yourself forgive yourself for not asserting your boundaries forgive yourself for letting that happen to you you have to forgive yourself and if you need to cry and if you need, if you need to mourn whatever that was by all means if that's what you need to release and finally heal that then do so without guilt it's okay okay um some of you might think na okay um then i'm not allowed to cry anymore because when i cry in i'm in a low frequency i'm in hell we're still in earth okay we'll st we are still in earth we are still human beings and uh, like one trivia for you guys it's actually good to cry when you guys cry whether it's sadness or um happiness it's actually the purging of the heart chakra so what does that mean any blockages that is inhibiting or so anything that is prohibiting you from activating that 4d consciousness that christ consciousness which is love acceptance and that unity consciousness when you cry you actually help your heart chakra to open because you remove that blockages you remove that unhealed traumas that has been stored there for the longest time without you actually knowing actually that's what we all aim for now that's actually all the mission of people who are here on earth is to be able to master the 4d consciousness or the christ teachings or the embodiment of christ for us to master the frequencies of the 4d because if we die not opening the heart chakra we will be reincarnating again to learn what we came here in earth for okay do you understand that okay that's another i could ramble about that again for in an, a separate video just comment down below what do you want to know about yung mga ganyang bagay about those things so so basically that's how you heal and when you heal you ascend your frequency why because you gain this understanding right and one thing about 4d consciousness this um what they say in church like embody christ they say embody christ diba um embody his teachings embody him be like me diba he say in the bible uh jesus says in the bible um whoever whoever ano yun kasi parang something like whoever follows me whoever follows me right something like that whoever follows me shall uh see the paradise something like that right what he actually means there it's not about follow him physically or acknowledge him as a human being before as the savior of everyone even it's not like that it's his example it's his beliefs and how he treats other people okay because 4d consciousness and the heart chakra is all about unity that we are all one we are all connected this is also connected to how we shadow work why are we all connected it's not really personal when people get mad at you because they're just okay we're filming they're just projecting their own shits because that's actually true because we are all connected we are all one we are just projecting our shits to other people so what does that look like for example uh, that's another thing i'm sorry for the like lack of coherence but like that's another thing when you get triggered you assess if it's a projection or if it's your own shadow okay if it's a projection so for in this, in this example, I might get triggered for this person talking so slow. This person speaks so slow that I get so annoyed. Can you get any more slower than that? Can you be quicker, please? I am following what you're saying. It's taking so long for you to arrive to that conclusion. So that's already a trigger. And that small thing, that's already a trigger. Because I personally get annoyed with myself if i talk slow or if i talk slow i don't actually put my message across more efficiently than when i talk faster so maybe i'm just projecting to this person who is there's nothing wrong about this person talking a little bit slower than me but because 
I, I have that in me so something like that it's triggered so it's returning back to me so how do you heal that small inconvenience of a trigger then you acknowledge that that's all right not everyone is supposed to be how you are that's actually what divides us people that's actually what divides us from everyone because we always expect that how we are how we act how we think that should how all people act that's how all people around us should act should think but it's not like that you have to acknowledge that there is a polarity in this world like the yin yang in the darkness you have this small dot of light and in the light you have this small dot of darkness so no one is purely no one is purely holy and perfect and all light and no one is purely evil all right or at least in human form in in this third dimensional uh, world that we live in no one is actually fully evil okay if they somewhat wound it up to become evil pure evil people all starts in being good because when you're a baby you're very innocent right you're very innocent how are you evil then even the jeffrey dahmer thing the cannibalism and all that thing he was nice when he was a child right then if you watch that series yeah um well basically he, he like cultivated that like whatever that serial killer thing it's because he was neg neglected in his childhood and he didn't actually process and heal that and arrive to that okay so not everyone who's gonna who's not gonna be able to heal from their like shadows are you you guys are not gonna end up serial killers like hopefully so so always remember if you say bad things to people that always comes back to you you say bad things to people there's a part of you that what you're saying is you so and at the same time if you compliment people or if you acknowledge the good things in people or you admire people you actually have that within you if you admire someone that is untapped potential within yourself you have that and your soul recognizes that that's also us bitches that's also us that's so beautiful because I could be that too, okay? So yeah, we're all connected, you guys. We're all connected. Ever wondered why when someone's very negative and then they come in the room, somewhat the energy shifts because we could feel that person and at the same time, the flip side, when someone is very happy and all are doom and gloom, the other person's happiness is very contagious, contagious to these other people one more thing since we're already in this topic of like the 4d consciousness as well not just healing because this is all part of it try your best to shift or unlearn the belief that there is good and bad if you guys are dedicated into really uh, fixing your life fixing yourself through spirituality through healing through all of this metaphysical things i could really go more deeper just comment down below anyway then there is really no bad or good because when you say a person is bad you are bad who are you to say that he is bad who are you to say that this person is bad did you actually know what is going on in this person to do the certain thing let's say for example a mother has a child and this mother is a beggar this mother beggar oh, that sounded so wrong it's de it, de it depends on your perception steals bread for her child so in the eyes of the law in the eyes of man that's actually bad right because you steal you steal is there a past tense of steal stealed anyway so yeah because you steal so can you say that the mother is bad for stealing because she doesn't have money and she just wants her kid to eat so that's that and also at the same time darlings a person uh, donated 100,000 pesos to charity can you say that person is fully good when that person actually stole or laundered or maybe like 
scammed that 100,000 pesos off of other people equally fighting in life for the money that they earned then they scammed that 100,000 pesos accumulated from other people then they donated it just to look good so can you say that a person that donated 100,000 but from scam money is actually a good person diba? so yeah unity consciousness you guys only God can judge us only God can judge us. So if, who are you to judge? Who are you to judge? Are you God? No. So don't play God. That's about it. And maybe my final remarks. Because this video is all about how to ascend your frequency. So I've tackled, I've tackled how to do shadow work, how to heal. So now how to ascend your frequency, right? By healing, yeah. Because when you heal, you understand, brother, I already said that earlier, but do meditation, you guys. I know a lot of you who are new to this will say, I don't have time for meditation. Then don't, I don't have time for meditation. You don't have time for meditation, but you have time to cry over your, ano. you have time to complain, but you have time to be miserable about your life. And instead of fixing your life, you've opted to feel miserable about it but for that you have time shut up okay you will meditate okay at least try at least just five minutes a day or if you can't actually do it every day then at least try to meditate guys at least once a week okay so what you do is you just um you like do in an engine seat position you close your eyes you like you could play a uh, guided meditation music on youtube and then you just close an eyes you focus on your breathing that's called breath work you inhale to your nose exhale so you notice how the inhale is slow and uh, the inhale is a lot shorter than the exhale. The exhale is meant to be longer because that uh, shifts your body into a meditative and relaxed state. This is no different to working out. Working out is hard at first and it's very, you feel lazy to do that at first and it's very, um, what do you call this? Ano ba? Parang pa, ano ba mong feels like such a chore. Not until you've actually been doing it for like one or at least one or two times, you will actually feel that your body is actually adapting to working out. And your body releases like these hormones when you work out that makes you feel good. And trust me, I'm not the person who loves working out before, but when you actually work out, your body will actually find that feeling of or what you feel when you work out. So, that's the same thing with meditation, you guys. It's just hard and it's just like you feel lazy at first. But when you actually do this on a regular basis, you will see how your life improves. Do what I'm saying consistently, habitually. And then go back here and tell me that didn't improve your life. Tell me that won't improve your life. I bet you can't because it will. It is proven and tested. Utang na loob. Guys, hindi talaga ako galit. It's just the Leo moon. Because it's fun to be very OA when we like kwento, diba? Because, you know, otherwise, antokin kayo. Hindi kayo makikinig. Otherwise, you get sleepy and not listen to what I'm saying. So, I'm making it a little bit fun. I'm not always like this. <laughs> but, yeah. So, another... Another thing on how to ascend your frequency, you should be able to be comfortable being alone. Mm. Kinabahan. Kinabahan ng mga hindi kayang mag-isa. Are you the type of person that you can't go to the mall alone? You can't go do your errands alone? You can't eat in the restaurants alone? You can't watch the movies alone? You can't, hell, you can't even like sit in silence in your room alone. Kabahan ka na. Really ask yourself, why is that? That's another big thing to shadow work. Because you have to be comfortable being alone. Imagine when you guys die. Do you have someone in your casket other than yourself? No. Crazy. 
at the end of the day, this is not even about, oh my God, we don't need a man, we don't need a relationship. No. Even even before coming into a relationship, you, you should be whole and independent on your own. Before coming into a relationship, and you should be somewhat in the works of like, shadow work and healing you've actually already healed a portion of your traumas okay otherwise if you're gonna bring that in a relationship you guys will just trauma bond and you will attract the same person that who you are who you are what you are you will attract the same vibrational match to who or what you are so if you have a lot of unhealed shit then don't be asking god praying god the perfect guy if you are not the perfect girl Sorry. Sorry, you guys. I'm harsh, but I'm effective. You might get mad at me. I don't know. Some of y'all might get triggered, but sleep on it. Sleep on it. Sleep on the trigger. Then you will realize that what I'm actually saying is for your own benefit. I'm not here to like ostracize you or anything like that. I am here to wake you guys up to fix your life. Okay? To fix yourselves. It, it It's... You know, as cliche at it, as cliche as it sounds, everything really starts with yourself. Everything really starts with yourself. Okay, so going back again to that unhealed shit, and then you're gonna have a relationship. It doesn't always manifest bad, like, uh, like a toxic relationship. It doesn't always look like that. Sometimes it could manifest as both of you guys are so codependent on each other that you can't even like go five seconds without this person by your side. Why am I mad? <laughs> oh, yeah. Shadow work, you guys. Mm. Oh, shadow work. Ganun po mag shadow work. So, anyway, in a serious note, just imagine. Just imagine, you guys. Imagine, you know, because everything in life everything in life if you are very hard-headed not or refusing to learn your lessons refusing to grow refusing to heal and change yourself the universe god whatever you believe in will send something will send someone will make something happen that will rock your world that will literally shake your world and you wouldn't want that you wouldn't want to wait for that before you actually start healing okay so just so just for an example here like this codependent cutesy relationship you know let's say it's a positive manifestation of like the unhealed things naiintindihan nyo ba ako or masyado kong kailangan kasing i-explain pero naiintindihan nyo naman Anyway, so what I mean, for example, we have like in a relationship who are very healthy, who are very sweet, very loving, looks like no problem at all. You know what could possibly be the problem with that? Codependency. Codependency, you asses, okay? For example, the girl cannot go five seconds without this person not leaving their side okay or they feel like they cannot do they cannot function without their man beside them giving her kisses okay for example a man cannot function because throughout the relationship the woman has been working for him or the woman has been assisting him mothering him and everything in him that's why this person or this guy um, became codependent to this um to her to his partner so do you think that's good so they're not fighting but they have that dynamic do you think that's good do you think you can get away the universe not seeing that the universe will see that and you could and you could never get away from that the universe will send something to like shake you guys and for you sometimes a couple breaks up because uh, maybe soul contract things this is another esoteric uh, topic that i could do in another video just comment down below so i know what video next to do and soon <laughs> because the breakup will catalyze self-love in you because of course when example na lang diba pag ang babae na heartbroken some diba because hindi naman we cannot generalize this is like the law of one thing the 
the unity consciousness, you cannot generalize everyone because not everyone. Have you met everyone to say that this person is gonna be like this? No, right? So shut up. So anyway, so most of um, like most girls or some girls when they gone to a breakup, they will like cry, 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 cry. And then next thing you know, they be they be like glowing up. They be like loving themselves. And then they're gonna be they're gonna pass like this phase of like, I don't need a man. I don't need a man. I can buy myself flowers. Be careful with that, okay? Be careful with that. That's another type of ano. You are cultivating another thing to heal, another thing for you for the future you to heal. Okay, after you cried, you loved yourself more. You learned how to be independent on your own more. Stop from there. <laughs> uh, and the flip side, for example, <laughs> it's so hot. It's just me being enthusiastic on what I'm talking about because, mm. anyway, anyway, in the flip side, for example, the guy that uh, had undergone a breakup who was codependent with the partner actually agreed upon this like before he reincarnated before he reincarnated he said that i have to learn this and this and this with this partner and then if ever i did this and become codependent then we will break up for me to learn how to be independent on my own diba so me so there are things like that but it's not everyone will have the same reasons that's why it's an example. You will use your mind. That's why we have brains. Okay? One more thing, you guys. Please. Please. Uh, please, please. Don't prove I'm right. Try. Please encourage yourself for your mind to work. Don't be that type of person because I said this to you, you will take this as like Bible. You know, you will take this as the one all be all truth. Or like you will take this as, oh, because she said, she, <laughs> she said this, that means this is the only way. Or because she says, this is the example, then this is what's happening to me too. No, you have to think about that. What I'm teaching you guys are just methods and just like, uh blueprints or like maps on how to navigate for your own journey on how to heal because we have different journeys in life it's really different we have we we might have similarities with each other core similarities like or for example the codependent or like the um no boundaries like you know, something like that but it's a situational type basis so whew, okay why did i go to that tangent yeah I went to that tangent when I'm talking about the stillness, right? Yeah, yeah, the stillness. <laughs> gusto ko yon. Gusto ko yung ang ano, ang layo na nung sinabi ko. Pero kahit malayo, ang dami nyo natutunan, hindi ba? So anyway, going back. English translation. I like it when... <laughs> Oh my god my foreigners my foreigner viewers i said that i like that that even though i went on a tangent and i went on a far tangent you still learned a lot right so it's all right so going back <laughs> Sorry. so going back on how to ascend your frequency you guys you should be able to feel comfortable being alone that was uh, that's what i was saying right so if you cannot stand to be on your own alone you better ask yourself why are you the type of person that you can't even keep your mind quiet is it like very chaotic very problematic why like do not i know it's very overwhelming at first especially if you you don't have a guide on how to like fix that but that's why i'm here guiding you or like telling you guys how to fix that if you have an overactive mind if your mind cannot shut up meditate meditate the tip that i'm gonna give y'all very proud of this tip i don't think someone has already shared this tip in tiktok or on youtube or whatever because i've discovered this uh through my personal experience and uh downloads okay when you're in the meditative position right when your eyes are closed, when you're breathing slowly and the thoughts are running, focus on, for example, you have an electric fan in your room, right? It's on. Turn it on, bitch. Turn it on. Or 
turn the AC on. Okay, while you're in this meditation position and like practice and everything like that, the mind is being talkative, shift your focus to the sound of the electric fan. Shift your focus on what sounds does the air condition emit or do, right? And as you focus, you can do this with me right now, okay? So you inhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And then while you're exhaling, you shift your focus to your external surroundings that are making sounds or natural sounds like the electric fan or the aircon or if you're meditating in the morning, you shift your focus in the sounds of like the birds or the wind or the rain. Nine times out of ten, this is a perfect method because I discovered it. Slay, charit. <laughs> Okay, that's not an ego way. That's not ego. That's me just being proud <laughs> in a positive way. Okay, so anyway, yeah, I hope that really helped you. What that method teaches you is how to be present in the moment. Okay, because when you're all up in your head, you're not in the present moment if that's happening. If, okay, I felt calm when I did that, right? Even a few breaths like that, that short moment that if you guys um, join me in that short exercise, Kamusta? How are you guys? You felt good, right? Imagine doing that for like 5 to 10 minutes. You know, you will actually realize a lot. All the shadows that you've been burying, all the shadows that you've been neglecting, all the shadows that you're putting in the back burner will all catch up to you, okay? Ever wondered why like some, some 30 or 40 year olds like haven't had their like the one or like the a healthy relationship probably when they were like 20 years old or something they were like fucking around and not healing themselves it's eventually all gonna catch up to you it's just a matter of time so would you rather fix that while you're still young or while you're uh, while you already know this right now that you're watching this or will you rather leave it up to fate when you're old okay so so yeah, that's about it for this video. I'm so excited to edit this because yeah, these are the type of topics that I'm really enthusiastic and passionate to talk about. And I feel like this is my mission. This is my soul's purpose. And this is where I enjoy and love doing. So yeah, I'm so excited to edit this. So I really hope this helped you guys. And I know I speak quite fast and um as long as we guys and understand each other and as long as it's clear then yeah there's a setting on youtube where and you can like make my voice slower so um yeah i really hope you guys uh took notes and i yeah i don't think i missed anything but in case i do or in case you guys have more questions just comment it down below i really hope that this uh, helped you guys. There's nothing I want in the world to be able to help people. If you guys understand or awaken into like a different perspective, you will see how truly we are all connected and you will actually want the best for everyone. So, so yeah. Um, and anyway, if you guys want to book a reading from me, um, the link is gonna be in my description box. Um, you can book a consultation or a tarot reading with me. It's a small price to pay for your mental peace, okay? For example, for example, uh, uh, 1,500 pesos. Maybe that's big to some of y'all. But what's bigger? The mental stress for like two weeks of you not knowing how to fix your life? Or you keeping the one pipe? I would rather have mental peace. I would rather give my 1,500 pesos for my mental peace. So yeah, 
this is not me promoting you to have a reading with me i don't actually care if you guys have a reading with a different practitioner with a different person as long as if that will help you in your healing journey then by all means go but i really know the importance sometimes of like this uh spiritual guidance follow me in my social medias my instagram is at it's cheska luzen and my tiktok account is at cheese seca doodles cheese seca doodles what else uh, and also i've been decluttering my clothes because your girly keep on buying clothes and there is no more storage I keep on like keeping them because I feel like I'm gonna wear it someday just to find out it's three years in my closet. Never been worn perfectly, I know. Perfect condition and it's not even my style anymore. But it's actually very good. Just want it out of my space right now and to make room for more. So if you're interested to see uh, my pre-loved clothing, it's gonna be in the link in my Instagram account. It's the carousel app and as well as the link to my bookings. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video so much and I hope it helped y'all. I feel like this video has been so long already and see you guys on my next. Sending you guys love, light, and compassion.